Hi everyone and welcome once again to NJPW Extra. I'm Chris Charlton right here in the NJPW Event Center where we are still recovering from the wild crazy afternoon that was Music City Mayhem in Nashville, Tennessee. And in Japan we are counting down towards the final days of G1 Climax 32. There's a lot to get to so let's look at what's been happening around the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling this week. In Japan this week, tension is ramping up and time is ticking down to the climax of G1 Climax 32. Events in Ehime and Osaka are in the archives right now on njpwworld.com in English to cap off a week full of big movements that started with events in Aichi and Hamamatsu. In A Block, Kazuchika Okada led the way with an impressive performance overpowering the huge bad luck file and Tom Lawler finally got on the board at Toriano's expense effectively eliminating Yano in the process in B block Tomohiro Ishii was first to be pushed to the bubble with a loss to great Okan who finally got on the board Tamatonga fired off an impressive victory against Sanada in a match that was full of split second timing counters and reversals Tonga being quickest on the draw with the gun stun, but it was Jay White at the top of the B-block table, albeit with a little bit of a bumpier ride against Chase Owens than he had been expecting. Certainly Jay White will remember not to stiff Chase on the big cash payouts from here on out, as he continues to be the B-block favorite. In C and D-block, the situation was rather more cloudy going into the weekend and very very competitive. After winning their first two matches, both Zack Sabre Jr. and Hiroki Goto dropped their first this week. Goto losing to Kenta thanks to heavy use of Goto's bow staff and Zack Sabre Jr. losing to Hiroshi Tanahashi in Aichi in a very disputed call. A bridging pin leading to the win for the ace while Sabre's arm was breaking the plane of the bottom rope. But the feel-good story from C Block was Tetsuya Naito barely hanging in there as he got his first points on the board against Evil with standing House of Torture tactics and bringing the fight out of the King of Darkness before putting him away with Destino. But speaking of feel-good stories and shock stories, the biggest surprise of the week has to be David Finley. The Rebel heading into the weekend, 3-1, 6 points and at the top of the D-block heap. Few could have expected that David Finley would polish off Juice Robinson and then in Aichi, Shingo Takagi with a quick roll-up off of Prima Nocta and then after a hard-fought blistering contest, split-second instincts and incredible counter-wrestling David Finley defeated the IWGP United States Champion Will Ospreay. Finley has certainly asserted himself as a top flight contender through this G1 Climax, much to the chagrin of Ospreay and Juice Robinson, who himself lost his second straight to Yoshihashi. The headhunter putting together an incredible performance and showing trademark indomitable heart on the way to defeating the rock hard one. So this week we'll see four crucial events that will bring us towards our final nights in the Nippon Budokan. August 9th and 10th we are in Hiroshima's Sun Plaza Hall, where on the 9th Tetsuya Naito will face Kenta in his spiritual second home before the main event of the 10th has top C block contenders Hiroshi Tanahashi and Hiroki Goto facing off. Then Saturday the 13th we're back in the Tokyo area in Machida as Taichi faces Switchblade Jay White in the main event before Sunday in Nagano and Tanahashi is again in the main event spot against Kenta. In the US this week it was a happy second anniversary to NJPW Strong, the best hour of pure professional wrestling, taking a much deserved one week rest and letting us all digest once again the incredible events of Music City Mayhem. It was a wild afternoon with a wild main event. El Desperado and John Moxley's no disqualification war was bloody, brutal and unforgettable. 
as everything from skewers to barbed wire, severed cans, and of course, always needed for the Music City, El Desperado's guitar all played a role in a match the likes of which we haven't seen in decades in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. But it wasn't just that at Music City Mayhem, Fred Rosser and Davey Richards both retaining respective openweight gold for NJPW Strong and MLW in some great matchups and there was a sign of things to come all the way down the rest of the card. Six-man action kicking off the night was marked by Noge Dojo rivals colliding as Shota Umino and Ren Narita were reunited for the first time in a long time and showing a competitiveness that's sure to draw fans all over the world in the coming years. Aussie Open picked up a win over Alex Zane in six-man competition and after the match, Carl Fletcher would issue a challenge to IWGP Tag Team Champions FTR. Dax Harwood was more than up for a fight and suggested that fight should take place in Japan. We'll have to keep a very close eye on how that plays out. Blake Christian came up just short of Hiromu Takahashi in their singles encounter, but after the mutual respect shown after the match, it's clear that Blake's journey is not done when it comes to the US or Japan in the future. And the time splitters reunited in a wonderful competitive and cathartic bout, the two men going the 20 minute distance before leaving together and perhaps embarking on a brand new journey. The G1 Climax is hotting up indeed. I can't wait to be a part of the finals. Nippon Budokan August 16th sees the last league matches of the tournament. 17th, the semi-finals and then 18th, the grand finals. If you're in Japan, we want you to join us for what are three of the most unpredictable and remarkable events of the year. But of course, we have the best seat reserved for you ringside on njpwworld.com where all the G1 Climax action is live and in English as well. And if you're in the US, well, you can sample NJPW and Strong live. Vermont Hollywood, August the 21st, we'll see the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Switchblade Jay White, as well as Juice Robinson and Chase Owens joining Hikaleo, heading up a Bullet Club side to face Kushida, Rapongi Vice and Taylor Rust. That's going to be a big one, as well as Robbie Eagles making his return to NJPW Strong and so, so much more. Tickets NJPW1972.com, as well as Las Vegas, September the 11th. An all-star cast makes our Vegas debut in Sam's Town Live. Make sure you are there to sample the best hour of pure professional wrestling on the planet. And make sure you're with us right back here next week for more NJPW Extra. We're going to have a lot of ground to cover next week as well. So until then, Gokigenyo, sayonara.